Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. I have uh, reviewed the video of uh, Electrotech Electro. I have been watching your video relentlessly, trying to figure out how you got the weld to work. And I think I figured it out. Maybe, possibly. I don't have a bold and brash, and I, I will never have one on this this base. <clears throat> I know that you said make it go two off the thing. I'm not I'm not doing that, um, but I am going to need another Val hauler. So we're gonna run over there and buy a new one because we need to have two for this to work. And I think I need a straight conveyor, which I also don't have. Hmm. So I'm gonna try my best to just figure it out with uh, regular builds because this is the build for, oh, 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 stop, stop. Real quick, all you unique viewers, the 900 and something unique people who are not subscribed to the channel, who have never been here before, hit that like, comment, subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Okay, now that I got the uh, selfless plug in there, let's go buy a conveyor. Yes, I would like to buy this. 80 bucks, I got 80 bucks, we're good, we're good. I was trying to buy those presents and just didn't have enough monies. Mm. Speaking of which, I do have presents that I do need to open on this one. Yay! This is my solo base. I realized that if I was going to do the uh, the um, solo thing like on the other, hey, superstar, uh, if I were going to do my um, a conveyor belt, uh, sorry, a conveyor door bridge on um, my uh, first base, my big tower, my fan tower, the signature tower, it's in the way. So I can't do it. Doesn't work. So. <sighs> oh, by the way, I've got my green screen off and pulled out to the side because it's warm in my office and I've got my fan on. So I don't I don't know. Can can you guys hear it in the background? I don't know if you can hear it or not. So it's fine. We'll just do this. So the conveyor belt, the conveyor glitch bridge I don't know what to call the thing it inherits the property of the convert 19,000 <gasps> you don't have enough money you punk don't want to buy money no no I don't I don't want to purchase any monies we'll go we'll go make enough money so I can get a vol hauler another truck can't believe that crazy anyhow it's this truck that uh the the truck that's on the ground that actually inherits the property and you weld it to another truck that has the door bridge so the door bridge takes on the properties it's kind of weird because this part right here in the bay that's how we attach to make uh was it the collapsing bridge or the like the the covered you know what I'm talking about. It's where you take the, what am I talking about? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just dump that out right there then. Okay, sounds good. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, if I go rotate, turn, rotate, right? We should just be up on the side here. What in the world? And that looks correct. But what if I go right there? We're just going to respawn this real quick. Hmm. Looks like it's not far enough in. And it didn't take on the properties. Wonder if that's because it doesn't have the build in there. Okay. So, can I drive this? I won't be able to drive it, but you know what I can do? Floors, tiny floor. Let's just rotate that out. Come on. Get out of there. Good. Whoa, flip the car. So, let's see, we're right here. We need to go probably one more in, if that. So let's go, let's go to B. Let's go to the tiles. Large tile, rotate. And let's see if I can do this.
that might be too far in. So we'll try the two tiles like suggested, but I don't have a bold and brash. So move this and you're going to go flat on there. That worked. Move that out of the way. Oh, <laughs> not far enough. Oh, did I rotate it wrong? No, I didn't, I didn't. Yep, no inherited properties from there, so. Gotta do it again. Oh, out. And we are going to rotate. Oh wait, I have to actually sit in it, don't I? Okay, so. Rotate, there we go. I'll rotate one more. Good. B, okay. We will move this off. Move. Come on, over here, there you go. And instead of wasting more blueprints, just do that. Then you move right there, lined up. Ooh, it just, it loves to lift, doesn't it? Yep, okay. So, move that one out of the way. And I'm spending like $300 per thing here. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Get out of the way. And we'll move this. Move. And now we move this. To this side. Rotate. Good. Basically, I'm just, I'm moving it up by fourths every time. Do I have to have it upside down? Hmm. I didn't pay too close attention to that part. Well, it's moving, but that's not what we want. So, tiny floor, jump in, rotate, rotate. Okay. So I wonder, if we take this and we do rotate, rotate, we're going to turn it backwards. So it's still flat against the wall, but does that inherit a different property? No, it's moving again. Dang it. So weird. Huh. I wonder if it has to be a ball. Oh, wait. Did you see that? No, that didn't work. Never mind. Well, it kind of worked. That was weird. All right. <laughs> there for like a split second. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. Let's go ahead and move these out of the way real quick. Move, move. Does it have to be a vol hauler? Does it have to be a truck? Can we, can we do it with a non-truck item? Great question code. So let's take this one. We're gonna stick it right here. And we'll stick this right there. Where does this appear? Oh, that was horribly, horribly wrong. Okay. So. Rotate, 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 rotate. There we go. Get rid of that weld. Hmm. I wonder. So this is this probably needs to go like one unit backwards. Oh, I can't stick it on there with the. Uh... Dang it, hippie. Move this first, and now we can move this. Oh, shoot. Where did it go? Okay. I need to mark that. So we're just going to move back one unit, possibly. 
was that that was two units, wasn't it? Dang it. Alright. Well, yeah. Let's see if it takes two units. It's not centered either. What? Okay, that was too far, so. <sighs> that was crazy. Okay, we're gonna hit B, move this out of the way. You come down here, come on, come down here. And let's move forward one unit here. Oh gosh. Right there. That's good. That's that's perfect. Perfectly aligned. That's exactly where it needs to be. That was perfect. I'm gonna get it on this turn. Go. No. Go. Way off again. Hmm. Super way off. Can't even tell how many units it's off. Oh, come on. Hit it. I would say that's like another two units. So, jump in. Rotate. Rotate. Back it up. Move this off to the side. Move this forward. Maybe. Hmm. Why do I feel like this is going to be too far forward? Move. Place and go. Still too far off, isn't it? We might just have to do a run for uh, some money. B move. This move rotate, rotate, rotate. Instead of being right on the edge, come forward one unit. Yeah, yeah. So now it's flat on there. There we go. And not quite. So. Hmm. Go back a unit, bring it forward two tiles. Come on, rotate, rotate, rotate. What in the world? <laughs> Get into my car. That's not gonna work. That's gonna be right in the way, isn't it? Oh gosh. Come on. We. There we go. All right. So. Move this back. Back one unit. Bring it forward some tiles. Okay, and then let's grab this tile. Move you right there. Move you right there. And then move this right there. Voila. She is done. No, it's too far forward. No, 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 no. It looks to be right on the line of the weld. But is it possible we are too high off the ground? Hmm. All right, hold on. Okay. Not quite sure what to make out of that. 
Okay, let's, let's give it a try. Give it a try. All right, let's go rotate. And get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Dang it. Rotate. 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 Get out. All right. No, get out, dude. Get out, get out. <sighs> Turn. There we go. Now we can get out. So, Electro says to take this thing. Move it over here. To take this thing. Move it over here. And I don't know what I'm going to use in place of a Bolden Brush because this is a solo base. I have no, no Bolden Brush. I don't even think I've got a way of getting the Bolden Brush. Okay. Move over here. So, take this. And we're going to move it. Hold on. Turn, turn. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Move it two units off. One, two. So it's two units off. And then we use a smooth wall. Smooth wall. Rotate, turn. Rotate, turn. Okay. So it says, this is basically for measurements, right? And then there's a tile. Right smack in the middle. One there. And one here. Now here's where the Bolden Brash comes in, and I don't have one. So I don't know the units I need to place here. How thick is a Bolden Brash? Hmm. Anyhow, I do know that this utility. Rotate, turn. Rotate, turn. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Goes right here. So, those are placed right. Now, to try and figure this out. Because if I just place this, this is not going to work. So, uh, let's see. There. Nope, backwards. Rotate, rotate. Right there. Okay. Let's take a look here. No, it goes crazy. No, it's all it's all messed up. Oh, they welded. Kind of. So what if I do have a wire, but that's not what I want. Here. I guess it'd be kind of cool with these. And I do I do need a, a push button kind of thing. I think... Oh, do I need to go get a push button or do I have a push button? I don't think I have any push buttons. Dang it. Oh, I got presents. Yay! Lumber games. I'll read that later. Was that all the presents I got? That's that's all the presents I got on the solo base. Alright. Hmm. There's a latch. I kind of need a push button, don't I? This might be okay. Maybe. Let's see. Rotate, turn. Rotate, rotate. There we go. We can destroy this. Destroy. Move. Whoa, 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 whoa. What you doing? Wait, you can only place wires on your land. What? That's not what I did. Oh, it's not gonna let me place. No! Oh, that's fine. Here, let's 
Let's just do that. So. No! Okay. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Thank you. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it doesn't continuously keep clicking. It's just a single click. Now his truck didn't jump around. Is that the purpose of the uh, the Bolden branch? I wonder. I wonder. No, oh, it's it's definitely not welding right there. Okay. So let's go back to the floors. Jump. Jump. Cannot climb. Hmm. What in the world? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Move this out of here, just real quick. Oh, hello. Coming out? Alright. I'm, I'm gonna come in there. Whee. Do it again. Boop. Boop. There we go. There's a cherry tree growing off in the background. Kind of freaked me out for a second. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> think, code, think. Bold and brash can't be that big. So I would just say. Uh, not a regular tile. Let's do large tiles. Uh, we'll do turn rotate. Let's do two more. One, two. If two's too many, then we can always take them out. Let's see. Turn. And he said to have the, the knob facing down like that. Okay. Let's check. No weld. So, oh, I'm what a struggle. Like, how did you figure this out? Oh, yeah. rotate, rotate. And a turn turn. And a turn turn. It's gotta be facing down. And flat on the tiles, good. Alright. Nope, no weld. Oh, that is so frustrating! Okay. <clears throat> I will go back. And I will double check. And see if there's anything I can do that doesn't involve a uh, bold and brash. If it does, I'm not going to be able to build it on this base, but that's it for this video. I mean, experimenting, trying out, coming up with things to, to weld to other things. That is awesome. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, but only if you want to. It's your choice. Outro.